Hey Star Seeds! Hello and welcome to I Am Woke. I'm your host, Emelina. Today we're gonna go through a collective Akashic Records reading and Pleiadian message channel for the full moon and Capricorn on June 24th. Welcome to this full moon in Capricorn. This is going to be a tremendous opportunity for all of you to understand what it is in your realm of possibilities and opportunities that you wanna dominate that you wanna win in, that you wanna create so much progress that you can see material, financial, transactional results in the future as a result of the things that you are doing right now. Capricorn is a more material sign. It is about taking the daily action steps and work that take you where you most want to go. It's about sitting back right now, taking a moment to reflect and plan how you want to move forward. Where do you want to be in the next six months, 12 months, 18 months, 24? months. This is how Capricorn thinks. It is time to plan. It is get time to get down to business and to action and to know exactly how you'd like to finish out this year. All of the dreams that you've been sitting on and thinking on and pondering, which we love for all of you to do so, so, so much. This is the time to begin to take those dreams and put them into the soil of action and move them forward. This is the reminder or reset before you go to the end of the year. This is the perfect check-in for yourself in June to see where are you going? How do you want to get there? What do you need to do in between point A, where you are right now, and point B, where you want to be in December? And how do you bridge that gap for yourself? How do you create conscious habits and daily patterns that would support that level of growth and progress for yourself moving forward through the end of the year. We know this isn't the most fun topic for all of you. We know that many of you like to have the more esoteric conversations and we love those so very much. But at this time, this is a more material time. This is a more get your feet in the dirt, hands in the dirt, start moving forward and see what you need to do to get your life in the place that you want it to be. Now, to mention this is completely balanced as you have entered now into cancer season, which is the season of taking care of the self. It's being the mother and the child simultaneously. So the key to keep in mind in this full moon cycle at this time is how can you move forward while taking care of yourself? What can you do to create the momentum while adding time in your schedule to make sure that you are fully taken care of? How do you know to take care of yourself? What things do you find actually regenerate your energy and bring it back to you? Whether it's journaling or sitting with friends or taking a bath or reading books, whatever it is, take stock of how you regenerate your own energy. How do you come back to yourself? How do you center yourself? This is something we avidly want you to think and contemplate on in this time and to really really act and move forward on taking care of yourself while also knowing how to assert yourself on the world as well and the balance in between these two opposites. This is the perfect time to pick up a new hobby or thing that you've been meaning to do that would give back to you like a sense of play where you're completely unattached to the outcome. Something that would give you energy back that you can engage in creatively that would then start to produce momentum and energy for you that can be used as you're moving forward. For when the soul and you get to experience play, that play turns into momentum for you that then comes back to you as creative thoughts, as creative ideas, as ways and action steps to move forward, which is what will support this Capricornian full moon. How can you play your way to getting where you want to go at the end of this year? How can you make your life a game, your goals a game, not a game to crush the finish line with pain and anguish, but a game of how can you play yourself to the finish line? How can you create so much creativity and imagination and so much innocence and fun on the way to accomplishing your goals? That, my dears, is where the magic truly is. The magic of what you are all looking for, that effortlessness that so many of you seek in the achievement happens from balancing these two energies, the Capricornian and the Cancerian 
energies. They are totally opposite, but you'll find that if you can set your goals and move forward and create action during your day, that is play. That that play energy, that innocent energy, that child childlike energy is what will help regenerate you as you go. It will feel completely effortless. And the key that we would like to transmit to you at this time is that childlike energy comes from letting go of the outcome. It's ironic, you will set goals, you need to write down your goals, you need to figure out where you want to go to get from point A to point B, and then let it go. <laughs> you will let go of your goals, put them out there, know where you're going, start moving forward and let them go. In the act of letting them go, you are giving the universe so much trust, you are trusting in yourself that those things will come back to you without you controlling them, manipulating them, forcing them to come back to you. In the process of letting go of your goals and dreams after you ask for them, you give the universe full reign to bring it back to you in the form of play. Play energy is the opposite of control and contriving and manipulation and force. And this is the very point we'd like to make to you, dear ones. At this time, we are feeling much more firm for this message needs to come in very clearly for all of you. This is the time to play. It is the time to let go of your goals after you set them. It is the time to find the way of playing into the game of getting things done. Show up daily for the task. But don't show up like, oh, I have to go to work. Oh, I have to do these things to get them done for stuff that I have to do for my life because I'm an adult. Okay, congratulations. Most of you watching this will be adults. <laughs> and with being an adult comes the responsibility of not throwing temper tantrums about being an adult. We truly want you to be able to show up in this time period where you accept the adult activities as being what they are and then celebrate them. Take it an, an inch, a mile farther and celebrate the adult activities. Celebrate that you get to go to work. Celebrate that you have to do the hard, fun work, the hard, fun tasks. Because those hard tasks, that daily grind, is what's producing the fun of your life, the beauty of the life that you want to live, that point B that you are so reaching for, whether some of you want to be millionaires, some of you want to get new homes, some of you want new relationships or new cars, some of you want to make create new families. Like There are so many goals, so many of you have. Those goals are so fun. And what we're trying to say to you is it's not about the results that you're going for. It is the play of the process now. It is how you choose into having fun in the process now as you reach for the attainment. And the play that comes into the process now is what will create the actual energetic and physical manifested results in your future. You're actually looking for the heightened, playful, emotional, excited state. So why not bring it forward to yourself now? Why wait for that state in six months or a year? Why not just have that state come to you now? Assume you already have everything you want and assume that you're just putting in the light action steps, the light play steps, if you will. It is work, but we'd like you to feel it as play. You can show up to work with a smile on your face. Think about it like that. You can show up to work knowing that you're doing the hard stuff and you can laugh along the way. You can make jokes. You can find the lightness in it. That is what this time period right now is all about. That is what this full moon is here to teach you. And we truly hope that you find with this message that you are able to balance these two energies for the remainder of this year is going to be rapidly building with momentum. You will need to be able to show up for each step with a complete lightness, play, letting go of the outcome and allowing whatever comes to you to come. Because as many of you know, but we will remind you in this moment, things can get so much better than you planned. You pitch something out to the universe. You want to attain a goal and the universe can come back and give you a 10x, 100x version of that. It can get so much better for you. So don't attack attached to the goal. Let's say, for example, your goal was to make $500,000 this year. Maybe a reach for many of you listening. Who knows who's listening to this channel right now? Let's say you set a goal to make $500,000. If you were to attach to that goal and you only wanted to make $500,000, but the universe is trying to rush in 2 million for you. In the attachment to the 500,000, you lose the 2 million. 
This is what we're trying to show you. Even though this is a, maybe more of a drastic example, depending on who's listening, the point is let go of the goal once you put it out there because the universe knows what you want. The universe knows everything that you want, everything that's out there for you and is trying to bring it all to you a hundredfold. So allow that unfolding to happen. Allow the miracles and synchronicities to occur and to come into your life so that you can have the truest, most fullest expression and enjoyment of what it is to be a godlike creator in human form. With this, dear ones, we find our message to be complete. We hope this message sees you at the perfect time, which we know it will. This is going to be a beautiful full moon for all of you, and we know you're going to take this message and move forward with complete clarity and design your life perfectly. Many blessings, dear ones. As always, I hope you absolutely loved this video and transmission. If you loved it, please go tap the thumbs up button down below. Remember to subscribe and tap that bell for notifications so you don't miss any energy updates. And until next time, guys, I will see you later. This thing is incredible. And then this Herkimer, um, I'm actually from upstate New York originally, and I live in Los Angeles and Beverly Hills. And uh, this Herkimer I got in New York. Um, I can't remember if I dug this one up, I might have. <laughs> Uh, but it's just so amazing and it's an hydro with their little water bubbles and crystals in there. Got so much magic, just overflowing with magic over here. So just sharing some magic. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you later.